Dual district is a district of Maharashtra state in western region of India. The city of Dual is the administrative headquarters of the district. The Dual district previously comprised tracts of land predominantly inhabited by tribal population. The Dual district was then bifurcated on 1 July 1998 into two separate districts now known as Dual and Nanderbar, the latter comprising the tribal region. Agriculture remains the basic profession of the population in this district. Most parts of the district are not under irrigation and thus cultivation heavily depends on regular monsoon or rain water. Apart from wheat, bajra, jowar or jawari, onion the most favored commercial crop is cotton. Majority of the population in the rural area speaks Ahirani a dialect of Marathi language, however Marathi is more widely spoken in the urban areas. Around 26.11% population of Dual District resides in urban area. Dual District is famous for the production of pure milk. Milk cattle used to be fed with cotton pen, cattle feed made by using cotton extract, which would produce rich quality milk. Customers in Delhi once upon a time used to wait for the delivery of milk from here. Dandecha in this district is the only town in the state to produce glucose, sugar, and other products from maize. District is also famous for production and market of chilies. The dual district is a part of Maharashtra's historical region of Khandesh. Although for administrative purpose it is now clubbed to Nashik division. History The district of Dual was previously known as West Khandesh district. The ancient name of this region was Rasika. It is bounded on the east by Barar ancient Vidarbha, on the north by the Nemad district ancient Anupa and on the south by the Aurangabad ancient Mulaka and Bhir ancient Asmaka districts. Later the country came to be called as Sunadesa after the king, Sunkhandra of the early Yadava dynasty, who ruled over it. Subsequently, its name was changed to Khandesh to suit the title Khan given to the Faruqi kings by King Ahmad I of Gujarat. During Aryan penetration to the Deccan, Agastya was the first Aryan who crossed Vindhya and resided on the bank of Godavari. This territory was included in the empire of Ashoka. Pushyamitra, the founder of Shunga dynasty overthrew Maurya dynasty. Later on Satavayan ruled over the region. About AD 250, the Satavahans were supplanted by the Abharas or Ahirs in western Maharashtra region Isvarsina. The names of feudatories of Abharas that ruled in Khandesh was found from copper plates discovered at Kalachala Gujarat and cave X5II at Ajanta. After downfall of Satavahans the Vakatakas rose to power in Vidarbha. The Vakatakas were overthrown by Rastrakuta family. This region was ruled by Shalukas of Badami and subsequently Yadavas. In AD 1296, Ala Ud Din Kilji invaded Ramachandra Yadava who agreed to pay a heavy ransom. His son Sankaragaha discontinued sending the stipulated tribute to Delhi and then defected and slain by Malik Kafir in AD 1318. In 1345, Devagiri was passed into the hands of Hassan Gangu, the founder of Bahamani dynasty. However, Khandesh formed southern boundaries of the Tashlug Empire. In 1370, Firas Tagluk assigned the district of Thalner and Karavanda to Malik Raja Faraqui, the founder of the Faraqui dynasty. His family claimed the descent from Caliph Umar Farooq. He established himself at Thalner. The governor of Gujarat honored Malik Raja with the little Sipasalar of Khandesh. From the little Khan the region came to be known as Khandesh the country of Khan. During the period, a rich Ahir Asa of Asurgid had many storehouses in Gondvana and Khandesh which were opened in order to sell the corn. However his wife was of a charitable disposition persuaded Asa to allow the grains to be distributed to the poor and suffering without payment to which Asa agreed. It was also with a view to employ many of the sufferers as labors that Asa leveled the old wall of Asir and constructed a fort built of masonry. Asa also distributed food to aged and decrepit who were unable to perform manual labor. The Ahir chief in spite of his wealth and strength of this fort, without any struggle acknowledged the supremacy of Malik Raja bequeathed lolling to his elder son Malik Nasir and Thalner to Malik Iftikhar. Malik Nasir had decided that upon seizing a surgid, he would make it his own capital. He therefore wrote to Asa complaining that he was in great problems as the chief of Baglana, Antor and Kurla were rising against him. Of those, two had collected large forces. Lolling, to close to enemy territories was not a safe retreat. He requested Asa to afford his family a safe retreat. 
Asa ordered suitable apartments to be filled up for the Malik Nasir's ladies. Shortly after that several covered litters with women were brought to into a surgid and were visited by Asa's wife and daughters. Next day another of 200 litters arrived reportedly occupied by Malik Nasir's family. Asa along with his son went to receive them but to his astonishment instead of women, he found the litters full of armed soldiers who leapt up and murdered Asa and his innocent sons in cold blood. Not a single male child in the family was left alive. The treacherous and cunning Malik Nasir returned from his camp at Lalling to the Asurgid fort. Shortly after this a disciple of Sheikh Zain Adin, the tutelary saint of the family came to congratulate Malik Nasir on his success. On his advice, Malik Nasir built two cities on the bank of Tapi, on the east bank called Zainabad after the Saik and the other on the west bank called Burhanpur after Saik Burhanuddin of Dalatabad. The Burhanpur became the capital of Faragwi dynasty. In 1917 Malik Nasir defected his younger brother Malik Iftikhar. On 6 January 1601 Khandesh came under Akbar regime. Khandesh was fancifully named by Akbar Adandes after his son Daniel. In 1634 Khandesh was made into a suba. On 3 June 1818 the Peshwa surrendered himself before British and Khandesh came under British rule. It was part of Khandesh district till that district was divided in 1906, and although the present name was not used then, the present district can be traced back to that year. Geography Climate The climate of this district is on the whole dry except during the southwest monsoon season. The year may be divided into four seasons. The cold season from December to February is followed by the hot season from March to May. The southwest monsoon season which follows thereafter lasts till September. October and November constitute the post-monsoon season. The average annual rainfall in the district is 674.0 mm, 26.53. Quote closing parenthesis dot. The rainfall is heavier in the hilly regions of the Western Ghats and the Satputta Ranges. Navapur near the western border has an annual rainfall of 1,097.1 mm The rainfall during the southwest monsoon constitutes about 88% of the annual rainfall, July being the rainiest month. Some rainfall is received mostly as thunder showers in the post-monsoon season. Except during the southwest monsoon season when the humidity is above 70%, the air is rather dry over the district during the rest of the year. The driest part of the year is the summer season when the relative humidity is only 20-25% in the afternoons. From about the latter half of February, temperatures increase steadily till May which is the hottest part of the year with the mean daily maximum temperature at 40.7 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and the mean daily minimum at 25.80 C degrees Fahrenheit. Hot, dry winds blow during April and May and the heat is intense with the maximum temperatures going above 45 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit on some days. Thunder showers occur during the afternoons and bring welcome relief from the heat on some days. With the onset of the southwest monsoon by about the second week of June there is an appreciable drop in day temperatures and the weather is pleasant in the southwest monsoon season. By about the beginning of October when the southwest monsoon withdraws, day temperatures begin to rise and a secondary maximum in day temperature is reached in October. The night temperatures, however, steadily decrease. From November, both day and night temperatures drop rapidly till January which is the coldest month with the mean daily maximum temperature at 30, 3 degrees Celsius F and the mean daily minimum at 16.2 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit. During the cold season, cold waves which sometimes affect the district in association with western disturbances which pass across North India the minimum temperature may drop down to about 8 degrees to 9 degrees Celsius 46.4 degrees to 48.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are generally light to moderate with some strengthening in force during the summer and monsoon seasons. During the southwest monsoon season, winds are mainly south-westerly to westerly. In the post-monsoon season winds are light and variable in directions in the mornings and northeasterly to easterly in the afternoon. 
In the winter and summer seasons winds are mostly from directions between southwest and northwest, with northerly or northeasterly winds blowing on some afternoons. Divisions The district is further divided into two subdivisions and four talukas for administrative purposes. Dual and Sakri talukas are part of dual subdivision while Sindheda and Shirpur talukas are part of Shirpur subdivision. Earlier there were five Vedan Sabha constituencies in this district. These were Sakri, Shirpur, Sindheda, Kusumba and Dual. Dual was the only Lok Sabha constituency in this district. Shirpur Vedan Sabha constituency was part of Nandurbar Lok Sabha constituency. After 2002 delimitation, now there is only one Lok Sabha constituency in the district which is dual Lok Sabha constituency comprising the six Maharashtra Assembly constituencies of dual rural, dual city and Sindheda. From Nashik district, Malagaon Outer, Malagaon City and Baglan are included in this Lok Sabha constituency. Sakri and Shirpur Talukas, though they are from dual district, the Legislative Assembly are the part of Nandurbar Lok Sabha seat. There are five Maharashtra State Assembly seats namely dual rural, dual city, Sindheda, Sakri and Shirpur. Economy <inaudible> 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 In 2006 the Ministry of Panchayati Raj named Dual one of the country's 250 most backward districts out of a total of 640. It is one of the 12 districts in Maharashtra currently receiving funds from the Backward Regions Grant Fund Program BRGF. Demographics <inaudible> 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 According to the 2011 census dual district has a population of 2,048,781, roughly equal to the nation of Botswana or the U.S. state of New Mexico. This gives it a ranking of 223rd in India out of a total of 640. The district has a population density of 285 inhabitants per square kilometer 740 per square miles. Its population growth rate over the decade 2001-2011 was 19.96%. Dual has a sex ratio of 941 females for every 1,000 males, and a literacy rate of 74.61%. Culture Languages spoken include Aharani, a Kandeshi tongue with approximately 780,000 speakers, similar to Marathi and Bihili, Bilali, with 1,150,000 speakers, and three mutually unintelligible Bareli languages, Bareli Paliya, a Bhil language with approximately 10,000 speakers centered in Madhya Pradesh, Bareli Pauri, with approximately 175,000 speakers, written in the Devanagari script, and Bareli Rathwi, with approximately 64,000 speakers. See also Nashik Division Dual City Dual City Vadan Sabha Constituency Dual Rural Vadan Sabha Constituency Dual Lok Sabha Constituency List of villages in Dual District